Hi, welcome to the channel and today I'm going to show you how you can create this letterhead easily and simply in Canva. So let's just go to Canva and go to create a design. Here I'm going to select a document, A4 portrait. If you can't find it, just type A4 portrait at the top. There you go. And if you want letter, you can just type in portrait letter. And then you can choose from the selection here. So I'm just gonna go back to the A4. And here we have our plain canvas. So the first thing to do is to insert your logo, particularly if it's got colors in it. So I'm just going to select something from Canva. So I'm going to go to Elements, and then I'm going to go to Recently Used. So I use this as my logo. Just decrease the size of that and move it up. Then I'm going to go to Elements, Shapes, See All. Then just click on the square and a square has selected this blue color. Sometimes mine comes up as a brown color as the default, but if you need to match the colors of your logo, click on the square, go to the color icon here, and you'll see document colors, and it's picked up the colors from your logo, so you can perfectly match your letterhead colors. So the first thing I'm going to do is just to resize this square. You can use this little cross here to move your square if you want to. So you can see at the moment my cursor's on the inside. If I deselect that square or rectangle, reselect it, I can go to the duplicate icon here and simply duplicate that rectangle. And then go back to elements. I'm going to back to shapes, click see all, scroll down, and I'm going to select this shape here. Let's just move that one back down, not sure it's jumped. And then I'm just going to resize this one. You can move it in and out as well. So you can fully customize this shape. Make sure it goes to the top there. Check you're happy with it. Now go over and select that shape again. This time I'm going to change the color. So go to the color and change it to the light blue. This time I'm gonna to go to the top here. I'm gonna move it across and up slightly, make sure it covers the page. And what you can see with this particular shape is that the angle here isn't quite the same as the angle here. So I'm going to go to position and go to back, that sends it behind. And then if I click and drag the shape up, you can see the angle changes so that I can make it the same as this angle here. Once you're happy with your design, click and drag across all elements and go to group, then go to duplicate and then move it down the bottom. Use this icon here to rotate the whole design. Make sure you're on 180 degrees. Move it down to the bottom. Now you can put it exactly where the top one is or we can choose to move it over to the left slightly, ungroup it, reselect this box here and just move that out. Once you're happy with the design, I would group it together again because sometimes you can nudge things out of sync. Go to text and I'm just going to add a small heading. This is going to be for my logo, so this would be your company name. I'm going to, whoops. I'm going to change the color of this text. So I'm going to deselect and reselect it so I haven't got a curse inside there. I'm going to go to the color and select my brand color and then deselect it, check I'm happy. If I need to change anything, I can increase or decrease the size of that. And I'm just going to change the font to Heli Vector. Now to insert your text, if you go to add a little bit of body of text, that's in the text icon here. And in here, I'm just going to put some text. So I'm gonna select it all and just paste. So I've got a large body of text here. I'm gonna click inside, select all, command and control A on your keyboard. And then here, I'm just going to change the font size. Let's try 18. And the font color, I'm going to change to black. 
then I'm going to reduce the width of this text box and then I'm just going to move it up and you can see that's too big for the page so let's go back up and change it to 14 there we go and I'm going to adjust the alignment because at the moment it's center aligned I need it all over to the left deselect it to see where I'm happy I'm going to reduce the size of that just a little bit more once I'm happy with the width you can see the pink line will appear to tell you that you've centered it and at the bottom here just to add the bits for the signature block if you do want to create a signature I'll just move this up a minute and I'm going to go to draw go to the top pen here make sure it's on black and then at the bottom so of course you'll be doing this with your mouse so it's not going to look great but just go for it and just click on something else and then select it all and group it together and now we can slightly rotate it if we want to make it a little bit smaller let's just zoom in there we go and then we can move this along to here check you're happy if you are then just group them both together so that then when we move all this around it's perfectly placed so you can see because we've rotated the signature it's now rotated everything but don't worry because it will line everything up to the center as normal so once you're happy with your design go to share go to download and then you can choose the downloads you want whether it's a png or a jpeg or a pdf so select the one you want just go down and select download then that's all downloaded you can go to your downloads file and you'll find it there if you want to say this as a template or customize it in the future then it's really easy because canva actually saves all your recent files so if i simply just clicked off this design if i just go back to my canva home page and select projects if i scroll down you can see all of my projects have been saved so i can just simply click on this design and then go ahead and edit it as normal. So it's already saved for you, which is just brilliant. It's already a template. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.